Nick wants to discuss top five NBA players of all time. Well, his oh, choice. Is it all time or is it current? All time. I said all it to you already. I wasn't, pre- I wasn't prepared because I've been asking you for three oh, days. That, what that's, the that's go why, go that's look at the text message. You want me to pull it up and put it on the like, phone, well, the screen? Oh, that's much like, why, why are we fighting in front of our viewers? Why do you have a, why do you have a rainbow flag on your phone? Wow. That's not you a didn't rainbow. You see my nephew? That's wow. not a rainbow wow. flag. That is his, uh, actually, where he get this tumble and stumble on. It's just like a little padding. It's not I'm just messing with you. So, um, so like I was going to yeah. say, um, I will, do you want me to go first? Of I course. Gotta, I, I, I didn't put a, you got to think of mine now because, I mean, I, I, go I, ahead. You go I, first. You, you're, I, you're on a roll. I said top five all the time. So, boom, 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 at number five, coming in strong, Steph Curry, two-time. Unanimous MVP. Well, You're out of your fucking time. mind. You're out of your fucking mind. But well, go ahead. <laughs> Unanimous MVP. Um, MVP. Finals MVP. I mean NBA NBA Finals MVP. Steph Curry. Um, four-time champion. NBA leading scorer a couple times. I'm going with Steph Curry because nobody impacts the offensive end like Steph Curry. Nobody in league. History impacts the offensive end like Steph Curry. You know what you have to do? You have to guard him from half court. And you know what that does? That mess up your whole defense and he sets a pick on you and that has to extend your whole defense. You know what that does? That leaves Draymond open. You know what that does? That leaves Clay open. That makes people who aren't that great so much better because of Steph Curry. His offensive impact is second to none. He's up here. He's, he's upper echelon when you come to offensive impact. Nobody else is touching him when you, comes to, when you put it in that in that category, in that range. Steph Curry is number five. I don't care, Rudy. Rub your ball ahead. I'm, I'm keeping it real and trill. Number four, Shaquille O'Neal. Yep. The most dominant big man ever in history. Oh, we could say Will. Bad. We could say Will. We could say Kareem. If they had to guard that man in this time, he will punish them. That was when you could throw elbows and knock a mother lover out and dunk on him on a drop step. And Shaq was the best at it. He had an amazing touch around the basket. Only thing we hoped for Shaq was to be in shape a little bit longer, and we could have seen his dominance a little bit longer. But for a nice 8- to 10-year stretch, nobody was messing with him. He was the top big man in history. Nobody could stop him. Dominant, dominant, dominant. You know what he did to Wilt? Put him in a basket. <laughs> Reverse, uno, skip, draw four on him. He can't do nothing with it. Done. At number three, dun 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 dun, Kobe Bean Bryant for me is number three. And I know we're gonna get hate because we're gonna say, Nick, you're not putting all the old people from Rudy Lifetime in there when he was five. But no, I'm, I'm not because they can't mess with these players of this generation or a little bit previous, further back generation. I'm sorry, Bill Russell. You will get dominated. I'm sorry, Will. You will get dominated. Kareem. I wonder dominated. how dominated they are. You realize that Bill was like dominated. seven foot two, 285 pounds, bro. Okay. Like Shaq. he wasn't small. Shaq, <laughs> okay. That would have killed him because did you see the little reverse fadeaway two hand jump shot like this? That's not working. I, I, I understand, but okay. say you get killed. He's bigger than every dude in the NBA right now. Stop. At number two. <laughs> Y'all been waiting for this the whole time. Michael he's going to do something stupid. Jeffrey oh, fuck. Yeah, Jordan stupid. is at number two. You know why? Because him and Kobe is the same. So if I would have had to put Jordan at one, I would have had to put Kobe at two. No, because you wouldn't. That's the most – that's preposterous. Because they are the same. I, I told player. you. He's a LeBron lover in the closet. I keep whoa, telling you. Whoa, whoa. Rudy, it's my turn. <laughs> I'm speaking, not you. <laughs> so I'm speaking, it's my turn. Yeah, Kobe. Bean Bryant would be number three and Jordan is two because they're the same player. I would have had to put I would have had to put Kobe at two if I put Jordan at one. I would have had to put guess who at number three? The person that's at number one, LeBron James. LeBron James is at number one. You know why? Because he could do everything. He's been doing it for a longer amount of time at a higher pace than anybody else for twenty years. He didn't go take a break in nineteen ninety. 
three because he had to take a break. He played the whole time. You know why? They were like, oh, he won a three-peat, another three-peat. You know why? Because he took time off. He was able to recuperate his body. Everybody else who's playing this long and has to keep going and going and going, you would have eventually, you would eventually lose. No way you're winning six in a row or eight in a row, which would have, would have been. You would have had to win eight in a row for him to get well, the little hype that we talk about him for winning six in a row. Y'all be like, oh, he need to beat Houston and Houston. I don't know if he beat Houston twice. Hmm, maybe not. But LeBron did something amazing. He came back three against one against one of the best teams in NBA history, if not the best team in NBA history. The second best team in NBA history because the Golden State Warriors, the next year when they got Kevin Durant, I don't care what you say, that was the best team in NBA history. They had Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and Draymond with a lot of role players that were amazing. So my list would be LeBron James there who did what nobody else thought he could do, come back from 3-1, and he carried, he won four championships. And he did in a day and age where it's tougher than before because the talent is better, Rudy, because Pat Beverly back in the 1990s would be Gary Payton Jr. He would be the mitten. We'll call him the mitten. Patrick Beverly in 1990 is called the mitten. But now in this day and age, he is an eight and five player, eight and four player. But back then in the 1990s, when the talent was not as good as now, when you could pull up from three and you just didn't have one person who could score, and you're going to say, oh, the defense nowadays is so much softer. No, it's not. It's because the, the floor is wide open and everybody can shoot. So, you know, with guarding one and one is so much harder than back then because. You, you literally just you just contradicted yourself. How? Go on. How? Go ahead. How? How? Go ahead. How? Because Go ahead. nowadays it's so much harder. You just, than con- you just contradicted yourself. How? You want to know why it's spread? If, if Shaq was in the league today, you just said Shaq was unstoppable. Mm-hmm. If he was in the league today, he would average 50 points a game because nobody could guard him. And you know all that three-point shooter you just talked about? Yeah. One of them three-point shooters but, would have to guard him, think about, and he fucked everybody out with today's rules. The thing Ooh. about with Shaq, the L.A. Shaq that we'll put in screen and rolls all day and make him have to come out there and guard us too? Yeah. Oh, Shaq MVP his first year with the Heat, if you don't recall. But he got screwed by Steve Nash. You remember that, right? You were here. Uh, I wouldn't say MVP that year. He was he did good. He, he finished second behind Steve yeah, Nash, Steve Nick. Steve Nash was still did had a better year. Steve Nash orchestrated that whole thing. He, he, what, what? What are you gonna say? What what what? Steve I don't want a Steve Nash hate that he gets. Steve Nash really orchestrated that thing back then. He did what he was supposed to do. He made it go over there in Phoenix. They didn't get there because of some unfortunate things. Well, let's say our player got suspended here and there against the Spurs. That's some things that happened to the Suns. They were they might have made the championship one of those years. It was unfortunate for those guys. Yeah, they, yeah, they didn't. They were amazing. They were an amazing team. They just didn't win the game that they needed to win. But they were great. Shaq did good. They never made the they never made the finals. What are you talking about? They didn't make the finals. They didn't make the finals because of some circumstances. It wasn't just because they were not good, Rudy. We're not. I didn't good. say they weren't good. What? No, I didn't say they were not good. Okay, I didn't say that. Okay, but you're sitting here saying that Steve Nash deserved the MVP over I'm, Shaq. I'm telling you, Man, I'm you're telling high. You that I'm telling you that LeBron dealt with scrutiny that look that Michael Jordan didn't do. <sighs> And now it's playing scrutiny. this okay. day and age where you have Twitter, Instagram, people on you. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for you when you say, oh, he's a good husband and a good father and a good role I'm model, whatever. Get I, the I fuck could care less about that because that's not oh my business. Because, you know, oh we're married God. with children today, but that's not the problem. We're worrying about LeBron mm-hmm. James. And him being yeah. number one because yeah, all he's the, the master of he's the master of losing in the finals. I know. Oh, but um, he's are, not you, there. are you Yo, are you done yet? Are you done win. yet? Everybody can't win because Jordan had the. You're best right. Team. You're right. They can't. Team. You're right. Nobody else had. Nobody else had a top five, top ten player, two top ten players on their team. Name another team that had two top ten players okay. on their team. Please. What? Who had top two top ten players? That had two top ten players on their team back then, Rudy. Back then, Utah had Carl Malone and John Stockton. You told me John Stockton wasn't a top ten no, player. No, not a top. You've also, did, you've also, did, you've also told me that John Stockton is sorry. So no, I'll, I'll never, move on. I, I, He's sorry. He, he, he couldn't do. He Pat Beverly would be better than him. Get whoa, the fuck out of here. You're gonna come on this. Get the you're fuck out of here. Said, I never. Said you said Pat Beverly would be better than him. No, I never. You, said, I, don't, you, I don't even know if you're trolling me anymore I with this bullshit said, on Pat Beverly, said, or you're really I, serious. I never said Pat Beverly would be better than John Stockton. John Stockton was a top ten player in the league. When he was in the league with Carl Malone, he was a f- starter every year in the All Star team, pretty much. Come on, man. Okay, come on. 
You just told me that that's top that ten. MVP don't matter. So how are we gonna? I didn't. I didn't say it didn't matter. What I said. I said Shaq should have won the MVP. Give what are you talking about? Five. Give me your top five. John Havlicek. Who else? My top five. Number one. I'm freaking forty six years old. I'm not fucking seventy five. So shut the fuck up. My top five, and I had to put this together in the last five seconds because I was really looking at a top five right now in the league because that's the reality that we're playing in. But my top five right now for the for the, for history. Even though I think Akeem Olajuwon was actually a better player than Shaq, and I think he was absolutely a better, more talented, more skilled player, Shaq was unstoppable. Shaq was being guarded by three people exactly. every time down the floor. I have him at number five. I think he was the most dominating player we've ever seen, and we will never see another one like that again nope. because the league has become softer than fucking Charmin. And the concept of having a big mother. You know what made me so happy about that Joel Embiid game the other day when he scored 70? He, he, he didn't take his first three until he had taken 34 shots. Joel Embiid, I know people don't want to hear this. He's the best player in the NBA right now. Whoa. And he has been for the last three years. Whoa. Cut it out. Cut the malarkey. He has been for the last. No. Best player. He won. Nikola Jokic, whatever. The best player. If Joel Embiid and Nikola Jokic played a one-on-one -on -one game, Embiid would mop the floor with him. But we played right? five on five. You're great, great, great. They're both seven foot. They're both seven foot centers. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Joel Embiid's gonna lead this league in scoring for the third straight year. Okay. He's averaging over thirty-five a game. He's give, scoring thirty-five in his sleep. Give me Jokic. All right. But I love, of course. Yeah. Go ahead. Take it. I know you. But remember, you're the same person that says that guys back in the day couldn't jump, couldn't run. Jokic can't jump on a curb. Okay. So Shaq would be number five for me. The most dominating player that's ever played in the NBA, period. Number four, LeBron James. LeBron James. Oh, there you go. I'm, I'm going to actually make something that's interesting because you're boring. LeBron James is one of the greatest players on the planet of all time. He's still one of the top 15 guys in the NBA right now. Oh, my God. It's amazing what he's done. He's gonna it's amazing Larry, what he's, he's done. He's going to say Larry Bird huh? is better than Jordan, than LeBron. Oh, my God. He's going to do it. If I need, it, I, I base it on who do I want with the ball in their hand at the end of a game. I don't give a fuck about your passing. What? I don't care about about how you treat your kids. I don't care really? if you made your friends rich. Because that's what everyone uses in these debates is – Oh, he played during Twitter. He played during Instagram. It's 47. LeBron James has been the manipulator of the narrative for a decade, period. You can deny it. It's a fact. We all know it. He has been, has been manipulating the narrative for a decade. 100%. He's an amazing, amazing talent. I, He's one of the greatest passers we've, passers we've ever seen. Scores. Greatest passers we've ever seen. He's the greatest Total points scorer of all time. He's one. I'm, he is not the. He is not even in the top five all time in average per game. If he wanted to, I don't, he can be. Well, you could say. And, and and if I wanted to punch you in the face right now, I could. But I would. I like. You get your ass knocked out. I, I, maybe, I, maybe I would, but I punch, I can still punch you in the face. So, LeBron James, and you want to know why he doesn't average the most points? And you can say if he wanted to. No, he. You know, because you know what? It's not in his fucking DNA. It's not in his mentality. He's not a killer. He's not a savage. He's not a savage. He ha he also can't make free throws in the, in the fourth quarter, which we both know. He's missed so many free throws in the final minutes of games, of tight games. Shaq it's did. ridiculous. Shaq did too. Huh? Shaq did too. What? Shaq did too. Yeah, okay, but Shaq was never a good free throw shooter. LeBron was he's never also, has a hand, he has a hand that picks up the ball like a baseball. LeBron was never okay. a free throw shooter, so okay. No, no. LeBron's free throw shooting percentage drops in the fourth quarter. It's statistically proven. Because I carried it my dropped. team the whole game. All right. So he carried Dwayne Wade, too. I know. He carried Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh, and he carried Kyrie Irving. I'm sorry. Kyrie Irving dropped 40 in game five against the Golden State don't, Warriors. Don't, 40. Don't get me started. 40. Kyrie Irving hit the game on his shot, not, Le not LeBron. Okay. Terry Irving hit that shot. Okay. And I know you want to forget. You have the revisionist history of that series. Game the shot. Okay. You want to, great. And you know how many – great. You want to know yeah, how many – LeBron didn't pass the ball to Kyrie for that shot, did he? I don't remember. I know that Kyrie hit a three-pointer yeah. to win that game. I know in that series, because you, you ignore revisionist stuff, Draymond Green got suspended. We Andrew know. Boga got hurt. Nah, nah, stop. 
Andrew Bogut got hurt, and Andre Iguodala got hurt. They didn't lose one guy. They lost three off of that stupid-ass Draymond suspension. And you want to say that the Warriors were better than the Bulls? Are you fucking high? They didn't even win the championship. So how can they be better than the 72 and 10 Bulls? Because they got the city yeah, by two of the two of the Bro, greatest players you, you, in the you, NBA. You, 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 you can bring... Did you see the shots that Kyrie right. was hitting? It wasn't regular. Kyrie's a, Kyrie is a savage. He wasn't hitting regular shots. He was. Kyrie Irving is a savage. He He's a killer. That. And he played okay. times better Great. than he normally plays in and that series when they got down 3-1. Normally... Kyrie Irving doesn't Kyrie Irving, Irving average twenty seven points That's, in a game in a series I, in a season. I, I I'm with you, Rudy, right. but you let me get back to my list. Go ahead. Let me get back to my list. LeBron James, great, great, amazing, amazing player. And I'm sure every person will call me stupid and retarded and all that shit. Go fuck yourselves again. Okay. LeBron James is a team. He has jumped from team to team to get as much and many players. He's the general manager, the worst GM on the planet. He complains about his teammates. I'm sorry. Who's the most recent one? Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook looks fabulous with the Clippers. Fabulous. But he was the reason the Lakers couldn't win. Why is that? They didn't mesh. He was the he was why do you think he didn't mesh? Because LeBron is the point. Because whenever I LeBron would, because LeBron would, has to have the ball. LeBron has to have the damn ball. Exactly. And LeBron should not have the ball because he's 39 fucking years old. His numbers have fallen. I know they're not they haven't fallen off a cliff. Okay. But they have dropped by four points. Four or five points. His shooting percentage has dropped. Everything has dropped this year, in terms of at least since the bump, since the NBA Cup. But he's, but he's, it's just, he's just not as good. Okay, go seriously, go to it's not true. We're still on four. Next, Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant's a savage. Kobe Bryant's a killer. And in my opinion, Kobe Bryant's been the best player over the last twenty years in the NBA. That's why LeBron owns him. I, I, huh? LeBron owns him. LeBron owns him. Owns him. Okay, so now they play one on one. Oh, okay. Whoa, okay. They, now they play one on one. Ah, you don't like it when it's used back on you, right? I don't. So they play one on one. No, they don't play. Number one, Kobe Bryant six foot six, LeBron six nine, and two hundred seventy pounds. They can lie about his weight and say he's two forty. No, he's two seventy. He's, he's bigger than Carl Malone. He's bigger than Carl Malone. Who fault is that? All right. I don't know whose fault is that? I'm saying, don't sit here and sit there act like they guarded each other. They did. But you know, Kobe, Kobe Bryant. You know, Kobe. you want to know what? And in the All Star game, when he had a chance to go at Kobe, what did he do? He passed it. Oh, I can't go at Kobe because he's going to murk my ass. He's going to lock me down. It's going to be embarrassing when this 6'6", 200-pound guard makes me fucking crumble. Kobe Bryant, yes, he shot a lower percentage. Kobe Bryant was a better offensive player. Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant was a better defensive player. Kobe Bryant was a killer. Kobe Bryant I would not take a Kobe better Bryant. defensive player. You know why? Okay. Go can't... look it up. Go you, look it up. You know Go look why. it up. You know don't why. Tell me, don't, you, ever tell me that, don't tell me that he can guard one through five. You know, if you tell me that bullshit, if you tell me that bullshit, you're lying. Because we're both Heat fans, and we know what David West did to LeBron James. David West did that to everybody. Don't do that. He's just, 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 just guard one through five. That means successfully. Not get murdered by a 6'9 power forward who mudded him David, when they got the ball in the post. David he West, could not guard Ray Hibbert. David, so let's stop the David shit. David West had a bag. A bag. LeBron James did not guard one through five. We only need to stop people, that ball. Only people he Again, the narrative. Could, 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 could LeBron guard. James guard Shaq? David West. Could LeBron James guard Shaq? Were the only Could LeBron James guard Shaq? And Jason Terry after game Could four. LeBron I'm asking you again for the fourth time. Could LeBron James guard Shaq? He didn't have to. Fuck play. no. He didn't have Could to LeBron play. James guard, guard, I don't know, Tim oh, Duncan. shit. Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan. Tim no. He did. 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 No. Stop it. You're lying. Boy. You're fucking lying, Nick. Mm -hmm. You're lying, bro. So, so, Stop it. So LeBron. You just so LeBron that didn't, one through five shit. So LeBron bro, didn't guard. Oh, my God. Go Guarding someone and doing it successfully are not the same thing. Could you guard Zach Peacock? No. You're six foot. He's fucking, you're five ten. He's six seven. Oh my God. Stop so, making up shit so to LeBron, fucking justify your bullshit. So LeBron, that was a media narrative that would push that. LeBron can guard one through five, which we knew. You and I both knew that was bullshit. No, we didn't. Really? Because he can. You, I just put I just put it on every trade. I just put in a mid-range level, a mid-level power forward. He could not guard. David, David West was not a top five power forward. Who else? He was a mid-level. 
Who all, who all right. brought the physicality so then you're, that again, 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 brought? Again, again, you're you, you're wrong. Oh, so you man. just got proven wrong. No, so we didn't get proven we wrong. Because we were there. We watched it. We watched it. Okay, get, go. We watched ahead, go it. Ahead. I'm, all right, I'm yeah. gonna be finished. I'm, I'm gonna be quiet. Kobe Brown, was, Kobe Brown was a better defensive player, and you know what? The stats back it up. The fact that he made all more all NBA defense teams backs it up. So next one. I'm not gonna do it. Yes, Don't you worry. Are. You are gonna. No, I'm not. Larry Bird. Larry Bird. People do not understand how that man won three straight MVPs in the '80s in an era with Magic Johnson and the Showtime Lakers. He won three rings. In the era of the 80s, Larry Bird, if you wanted, played a game left-handed. Larry Bird had teams rolling over on their seats, laughing at their themselves because of the shots he would make. He would tell players, and there's enough data and video to back this up. He would tell people where he was going to take the shot from and say, what are you going to do about it? And he would go and make the shot right in their damn face. There's video of Byron Scott saying this, James Worthy, Xavier McDaniel, countless Charles Barkley. Like, the, there, there is video after video. This man hit more. I mean, the, the, the shots this man would hit. And remember, they played in an era where you flow commercial, where you ate hot dogs at airports. Because I know you think every guy there sucks from the 80s and sucks from the 70s. I, mean, I didn't go to the 70s, by the way. The, and then, no, you think they all suck. Larry Bird would make mince meat of these bums today. He would. He would. He he's he was incredible. And you you weren't old enough to watch him play. I understand. You I weren't see, born yet. I, I mean, I I don't. You saw clips. I saw it when it happened. You saw clips. And and the fact I that you see clips I should watched. give you an idea. I know, don't, don't tell me you watched the 1985 freaking NBA Finals game. Stop why it. Why didn't I? Because you know what? why? Why? Because you're lying. You just said that, you just said LeBron James could guard fucking Shaq. I mean, and Roy Hibbert and David West. I, didn't I know. Say he could guard Shaq. Did I? Like, exactly. So, the, so your entire one through five argument just went to fucking hell. You gonna name so, one person that's the most dominant person in NBA history? Okay, I can, I can name, name twenty, dude. Really? Any, he can't guard power forwards in the post. He could never do it. Yes, he, he could. could not guard power forwards in the successfully. Yes, can you put his body on them? Sure. Can he guard them successfully? I don't mean a position. I mean for a game. Come on. I mean for a game. Because when somebody has that's to guard a, Derek it's Rose, a false, it's, a, it's a false media narrative. But again, Larry Bird would tell you where he's going to shoot the ball from. Okay. And say what? And do something about it. The passes that Larry Bird would make, you don't see anyone make those passes today. Not even LeBron. The passes that Larry Bird made and Magic Johnson used to make back then, no one makes them today. Unbelievable. Magic Johnson, I mean, Larry Bird, to me, is the greatest small forward. People will disagree with me. I don't give a goddamn what they say because, you know what, people have recency bias to everything. And, yeah, LeBron's career, 20 years, he's unbelievable. The fact he's still playing at this level is amazing. Larry Bird's back went out on him in year 12. Shit, sucks. Number one is Michael Jordan. I'm not saying that. I don't have to say anything else about that. I don't care about the, I don't care about the three-peat, three-peat, whatever. I don't care about all that shit. Michael Jordan was the, is a killer of all killers, and and at the end of the day, what did, what did Donald? You would know this. What did Larry Bird say about Michael Jordan? He's God uh, disguised. Jesus. He's Jesus, Jesus disguised. Jesus Nike. Nike. Yeah, he's like a, he's like disguised, this a guy disguised as Jesus. I don't know. Like they 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 beat him. They killed him that series. They they killed him. They won. They swept the series three zero. Yeah, they did absolutely swept the series three zero. Bird went to great. That's not my guy. Uh, 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 hey, whatever. Uh, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan led the league in scoring for a decade. For a decade. Okay. He left, came back, and led the scoring for three more years. Okay. okay. Let's be real. We, let's be real. Okay. The Houston so, Rockets so, weren't beating so that fucking – the, the Houston Rockets weren't going to beat the Bulls in 1995, so, 94, 95. When we go to Stop. the lead in the scoring conversation <laughs> – like yeah, his average. His he has the highest average of all time, thirty point one. Going every year, like okay, mm-hmm. how big was? And he shot, and he shot in some seasons fifty three, fifty four percent as a six six guard. So if I'm passing and I'm getting, he got hammered and tackled to the ground on every play by one team. Don't do that. I hate when y'all do that. Everyone I did it. I know you're gonna say, you're gonna say you're gonna show me some clips. I we had hate, open shots. I hate when you older people or do that. the NBA. Star game 82 times a season right about now. So go ahead. That hammered him. And y'all be like, yes, that era was I, I, again. 
this, this at, proves it, I this proves at, you did not watch them because you I weren't born. At, I watched the game. They be like that era was so different. We got the hand check. That hand check shit means mm-hmm. nothing against somebody mm-hmm. who can play basketball because they'll use mm-hmm. your hand check against you mm-hmm. and they'll grab your mm-hmm. arm and yeah, they'll yeah. throw it away. So if you mm-hmm. actually they'll throw it away, yes, they'll throw it away. A great right. player, they know how to manipulate. You it. literally know what the hand check was for. It was literally used to stop your fucking forward momentum so you couldn't these drive to the players, basket. These players nowadays will grab your hand and use it. These against players you. today. You mean the players that take fifty threes a game? Rudy. Those players. Rudy. The ones that shoot 53s Rudy, a game. I played against people. I don't give a fuck who you played against. Who would that's who you played against? You, you shoot 53s a game. You always tell me I played defense so helter skelter and I grabbed in my what? era. And, and, and you did. You fouled. Okay. It's okay. And I went to, today, all, I, today all that's a foul. I went to college. And, you, and, and, I, and, I, it. and I tried to put my arm on somebody. And guess what they did? They grabbed it and they used it against me and went to the basket and laid it up. That mm-hmm. wasn't a hand check, though. You understand that? You know what a hand check is? I know what a hand You actually know what a hand check is, Rudy. What's I a hand check? Basketball for the Tell me, because you just said your arm. A hand check is two fucking hands. Rudy, that doesn't mean anything. Y'all keep really? thinking a hand So you can I shove you out with two hands. That doesn't mean it. You're crazy, you man. Y'all keep thinking hand checks will save you. It will not save Who you. Who said save you? You just said they mean nothing. It means nothing, because other people can use that okay. against you, Rudy. I'm telling you, All man. Right, all right, Nick. So the team. Teams today, so the teams today that are scoring 120 points a game, shooting 53s. I remember you told me that the scoring in the 80s was low. There were teams that averaged 120 in the was, 80s was, with no three-point shooting. They ran up and down. You're talking about a couple teams, Rudy. Come on now. A couple we're, we're not going to do this. Actually, we're not actually gonna no, it's not a couple teams. We're not going to do every this. Team, we're, every team in the mid-80s averaged we're 100 not points gonna or more. do this because we know yeah, the best. You're wrong. Because you're wrong. Because you're wrong. Because it's harder to guard now. And it's. All right. so it's harder to guard now? Yeah. It's harder to guard now. Really? Yeah. Okay. Rudy, because... Every, you can move to the next topic because that's the most... Shoot because everybody's not just in the paint and you have... Everybody one, can shoot. One everybody shooter can shoot. on okay. the team. Everybody, so can, everybody can shoot. Everybody okay. Can Jimmy team. Butler shoot? Can Jimmy Butler shoot? He can shoot it well, better than anybody from the freaking 90s and 80s. Really? Really? Could Dwayne Wade shoot it well from the three-point line? Where Wade was 10 years mm. ago. Could, could, Dwayne, could Dwayne Wade shoot well from the three-point line? He can shoot enough. Would, J- would Dwayne Wade dominate today's game in his prime? Yes. Yes. And he wouldn't have to take one three-point shot to do it. But he would. No, he, he wouldn't. Didn't. Yes, he would. No, he wouldn't. Okay. No, he wouldn't. Okay. Because he, he didn't do it when he was playing. He still shot a three a game or two. A, a, a three a game or two. Okay. And there was a point where he shot 21% from three-point range. Okay. Okay. And then he but, but yet again, we talking about Rudy. The guys shoot. But I'm, right. te- I'm telling you, can't you that your defense is harder today. Yeah, it's harder because you can't touch nobody. No, because you have to guard people one on one. You know how hard it is to guard somebody. No, it's because you cannot. You know, we, because yeah. man is not just sitting in the paint because he. Has no, to you, you can't. You can't even guard, bro. You can't even jump in the air to contest a shot without fucking having a foul call. Rudy, then you for you don't even have to. You don't. You didn't have to go nowhere before because everybody was in the paint. You have to get out the paint because your man will shoot a three in a corner. Why? Yeah. Open if you sit in the paint and you get killed. You'd be mm-hmm. sitting on the bench next to me. You, you want to, let's double. take a look. Let's take a look. What what is the let's let's take a look at what the average NBA team shoots from the floor. Oh my god. I, I mean, because you think it's that it's you, you, threat, you sh- the threat of them making it really mm-hmm. because they can actually shoot it now. You literally you know what the average three point shot is right because now, percentage wise? No, the percentage. No, you know what it is? Because you don't even know what it is. Rudy, you don't even know what the average is. Even even if the percentage is the same as it was back then, oh, it's, it's, now a, they, oh, it's a different oh. shot now because they oh. were attacking the paint and they kicked and they shot wide open. Let's, let's, let's keep pushing that goalpost in another direction, okay? Oh my! Because the second okay, goal, they, they shoot the ball better, but the but the three point shooting percentage is almost identical to what it was thirty years ago, but, twenty five years ago. I, but Rudy, it's like a two percent difference. Three being shot back then to today that we know that. Come on, they were shooting wide open threes. Now they're shooting off the dribble from thirty two feet away. Are you are you gonna sit here with a straight face and tell me that guys aren't shooting wide open threes? All Rudy, day? they're shooting are from. Are you? I watched Cam Johnson last night miss a wide open, uncontested three to tie the game broke it by a fucking mile. Talking, that is what you see half the fucking time. They, they are wide open they all the not, time. Oh my God. They're wide open. Because they generate these open shots. They were they're just wide running open. people back there. Oh, a, a second ago you said they weren't open. Now they're generating it. 
So pick your argument, They're Nick. Which one both. is it? They're doing rodeo. Oh, okay. In the eighties and nineties, okay. they were just wide open. Nobody guarded okay. them out there. Okay. If you shot a thirty foot three, that was a bad shot. Oh, you're just gonna shoot. That. It's still a bad shot. No, because they can make it. They, they can make it now. They can make it now. Okay. What's the next topic, Don? Because this man's out of his mind. He's, he's doing that same shit. No, that can't be it because we because we had a we had a major shit today uh, that that popped off. And I mean, I know I gotta rant real fast, but if you want me to, I can. I can fit it all real. Listen, quick. I think you're gonna have to because we're we're over. 